Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, hi, I'm Kayla Castro, thank you for joining. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you're notified when I upload. Today's video is going to be this, like, really simple, my everyday makeup look. I do no foundation, um, and it literally takes me, like, 15 minutes to do this, but if I'm in, like, a really, really big rush, <laughs> it'll take me, take me, like, five. Um, yeah, I've really been loving doing this, it's super easy, super quick. And yeah, let's jump right into it. Welcome to my bathroom. I said I'm letting my hair air dry. That's why I look like a wet dog right now. And then I blow dry it after I let it air dry a bit. So the first thing that I start out with is this Morphe foundation primer. This is the equalizing primer. And I just want to say like the products that I use daily change. But the steps that I do stay the same. So like I might change like the primer to a different one some days and then like the concealer I use to a different one but the steps are the same and the products are just the only thing that change. Today I'm just using this Morphe one because it was the one that was in my makeup bag. And just throw this on my face. This one really, really controls my oils. That's why I love it. And it like feels good on your skin too. So that. Next step is concealer. I've been using this, uh, what is it called? Oh my god, I totally forgot the name for a minute. <laughs> the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I just like totally blanked. I used the color Light Neutral. So I usually just put this under my eye, down my nose, a line like in the middle of my forehead, my chin, and then kind of over here I put a couple because I had like some blemishes going on. And then around my nose. And that's it. But if I didn't have like any blemishes going on, I wouldn't even bother putting concealer there. Um, and this brush that I have been loving is from the new Morphe and Jeffree Star collection. This one, the uh, JS1. So I guess this is technically like the foundation brush, but it blends out so well. Like I don't get any of those streaks because I hate that. That's why I mainly hate using a brush for foundation. But it doesn't do that, so I just blend out everything. And it does it super quick and easy, which is what I need. And then like that. And then, um, for like where I'm having blemishes, I pat that in so that I get full coverage. So I totally forgot a step. I usually use this MAC strobe cream. This is like the sample size. It's not gonna focus. And this is, I don't even know what the color is. But um, yeah, I usually put this on after I put my primer on and before I do the concealer because it gives you like a nice natural glow. Um, I can still put some on. I'm gonna take this brush. This is the also from the Morphe and Jeffree Star collection. This is the J. S3. Um, I like this color of the strobe cream, but I think next time when I go by the full size, I'm going to get like the golden one because those undertones like look better on my skin. So yeah, I'm just gonna put this like on the high point of my face. Usually, if I put it on after my primer, I just put it on like everywhere because they put powder on anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But just like everywhere. <laughs> And then I'm just going to use this, uh, this brush and dab it in so it doesn't move any other concealer. And it just gives you like a nice natural glow. So the next product I'm going in with is my Maybelline Fit Me Powder. Of course, I'm in the shade Fair Light. This is actually too light for me um, right now, but I'm just trying to finish it before I buy another one. And then I'm taking my Morphe powder brush, this is the Y5, and I literally dip it into the powder low, and then put it on my face. And this really controls my oils all day, like it don't touch up, and I look matte the whole entire day, which is what I need. So just dab.
Well, after powder, I go right into bronzer. I'm using my NARS Laguna bronzer and I'm taking the Morphe Y1 brush and just using this to bronze. Just like that. I don't worry about contouring or anything for every day. There's no need for it and there's no time for it. The next step that I do is blush. I've been switching between two recently. Um, my Maybelline Fit Me Blush and Rose that I always use. And then I have this Aspen Over Tarte palette that has eyeshadow and then a highlighter and then a blush. I've been using this blush. Um, I'm gonna use, I don't wanna use this one today. I'm gonna use Rose today because I've been using the palette for like the past week so want to switch it up and then I'm just taking it on this random brush that I got from Target like forever ago smile I am going to use the highlighter from the Aspen Ovard palette it's called Pure Soul, and I'm taking the Morphe M501 brush, and I like this one because it's not like too blinding for every day. It just gives you like a little bit of glow, so it looks really natural. Some days I fill in my eyebrows, some days I do not. Um, today, I'm going to fill them in a little bit, but I'm going to do them off camera because I always struggle with doing it on camera. But I'm just using the Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Wig. Um, this one's in the color chocolate. Normally I use dark brown, but they really ran out, so I picked up this one. So I literally just filled them in a tiny bit, nothing too crazy. And then I use my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and I brush them up. So after brow gel, I do mascara. I always just curl my eyelashes. And then the mascara I use is the NARS Climax Mascara. I'm still like so hung up on this one, I can't stop using it. Um, I don't put mascara on my bottom lashes when I'm doing like a natural look because I don't know. My bottom lashes are so long I feel like they look ridiculous when I wear mascara on them for a natural look. So I just do the top and I don't do a lot. Like I keep it really natural. The final step to this routine is lips. I usually just throw on a gloss. This is the NYX clear gloss. I don't know. Mine turned pink because I put it on over like a liquid lipstick so it turned pink. But it's cute. And it's super glossy. So I love it. But that's it for today's video. This is just like my really simple and quick everyday makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Have a blessed day. Bye.